Okay, now I want to look at Susan Garrett's launch. Susan Garrett is a dog agility trainer. Uh, and this was a course, it was an online course called BrilliantRecalls.com. So dog agility is, uh, it's, a, it's a little niche within the dog training market, which of course is part of the dog market, which is part of the pet market. Uh, the product was this online trading course called the Recallers Course. Now, Susan lists, Susan's list was under 20,000 people, but to my knowledge, this was one of the most successful internal launches ever. Um, I, you know, Susan likes to keep her numbers private, so I don't want to give you the numbers, but they were shocking. I just, that, that I just have to say that they were absolutely shocking. The results she got from this launch, so you definitely want to pay attention to this. Now, Susan joined Product Launch Formula in 2008. Before that, she had no list. She relied by, her, in her words, she relied entirely on Hope Marketing. She did have a few DVDs that she would sell through a, dist a distributor. She had some articles that would go in journals. She was very highly, very, very highly accomplished as a dog trainer with national titles and world titles in that very small dog agility market. Um, so she had a dog training business where she would actually train other dog trainers. And um, she had to travel to events just not all year round, just tons and tons of travel. When she joined Product Launch Formula, she had no idea about this this world, this information marketing world, this this online education world. She didn't know about list building, but she quickly built a list um, with, of past clients, and she did within the very first month of having Product Launch Formula, she did do a launch that did twenty seven thousand dollars. But that was just the start of of her journey. In the next year after Product Launch Formula. Her business grew by a factor of 6.4. In other words, it grew 640% in the one year after Product Launch Formula when she started putting, to, putting it to use and doing launches in her business and focusing on building her list. The year after that, it grew another 2.5 times. So that means it was after two years, it was 16 times bigger than, than her business was, her dog training business was before Product Launch Formula. And the next year after that, she grew another 4.7 times. That means the total growth was 77 times the size that her business was before Product Launch Formula. And she's been able to cut her travel down, so she only travels to about four or five events per year. Now, again, full disclosure, uh, Susan is in my Platinum program. She has been for three years, but it all started and all this growth was way before that. So just from Product Launch Formula, Susan says, uh, although I can't say we, continue, we can continue to have huge multipliers every year, I can say that our online business continues to grow and I'm able to do even more for our dog owners than I've ever been able to do before. And that is mind blowing. So now we're going to jump into Susan's pre-launch content. Now the thing to remember, this is one of the most successful internal launches I've ever heard about. And remember, I, I've been teaching this since 2005. I've got thousands and thousands of Product Launch Formula owners. I've heard about a lot of launches from those thousands of owners, and I've heard a lot about a lot of really great launches. So to say that this is one of the best ever internal launches, it, it's just amazing, especially since Susan's operating in a very small niche right here. So let's go ahead and jump into her pre-launch content. Hi. So one of the things you're going to notice is that Susan, uh, th this is she's not a fancy salesperson. She's not super slick. She she is this this is a video that really is heavy on the teaching. There's huge value in her videos. There isn't a lot of uh, you know there there is no polished sales message whatsoever. She this this comes across and it is a pure teaching video but it also sets up her launch very strongly it sets up the opportunity which is what we want to talk about in this first video the opportunity to have a transformation a change in your life and here she's talking about the change in the owner's dog owner's life and the dog's life as well so she starts off what you'll notice is right from the start she builds her authority through teaching 
and then she makes at seven seconds in she makes a big promise so you'll see throughout this entire video it's not like she's hammering people about i've won all these championships because susan is very highly accomplished she's won national championships and world championships in the dog agility sport but she doesn't hit you over the head with that she builds her authority through teaching the other thing to remember is since this is an internal launch she's somewhat preaching to the choir it's just the people on her list are getting these videos so they know her and the, they know the authority she has so she doesn't have to build that authority in a huge way and what she does is she builds it through teaching so she starts throughout the entire video that's what she does she's all about displaying that authority so seven seconds in you'll see her make a really big promise and then at the 24 second mark you'll see she talks about her big why and the big why is something that if you can align your the, the reason the big why behind the reason you're doing what you're doing if you can align that with the interests of the viewer it can be very very powerful and Susan's big why is she wants to make all dogs lives in the world better their dogs lives better and the dog owners lives better she's wildly passionate about this that's her big why and it naturally aligns with the dog owners themselves because if they hear her talking about making dogs lives better it naturally resonates with them so that can be a very very powerful thing to do and Susan does it right away at the 24 second mark so let me go ahead and play that I'm Susan Garrett welcome to say dog training today I'm going to share with you two approaches to getting your dog to do exactly what you want and history has shown that they both work one of them works particularly well. I'm going to draw a parallel for how this works for kids, for spouses, and employees as well. You see, I believe that we humans are very much like our dogs in that once we have clarity on what's required, we gain the confidence necessary to excel and be brilliant at anything we do. Clarity creates confidence. But how do we get this confidence? So that was Susan sharing her big why, that clarity creates confidence, and that is really what she's after. Then we're going to roll it right up until, I'm going to let it roll here where you see her building authority, starting to teach, starting to set the reason for the video, um, you know, setting the hook, and, and which is that you can train your dog to respond to you, really. And then you'll see at about the one minute mark, she she's talking about clarity creates confidence, and then confidence comes through education. So really what she's setting up is this confidence comes through education, so I'm educating you in this video, so you should watch this video. And really the corollary then is that you should watch all the videos I'm going to send you, and then eventually you should buy the product that gives you even more education. So I'm going to roll this right up through that one minute mark here confidence. Can we buy it somewhere? And what about our dogs, the ones that might be more cautious in a stressful environment? Can we feed them something to help them become more bold, outgoing, and confident? Well, I wish it was that easy. You see, confidence comes through understanding, through education. Think of any skill that you've learned in the past. Let's look at the number one tennis player in the world, Novak Djokovic. Every time he steps out to play a game of tennis, he does so knowing he's capable. So here, again, she's just demonstrating authority. Now she's going to go into a pure teaching mode here for a good chunk of the video. So I'm going to forward ahead. Uh, we, I will give you this entire video so you can watch the entire video. But she'll go into this teaching mode. And then I just wanted to show you at about the 420 mark. About the, Let's see. Yeah, let me get up there just about there it, she goes she starts to tell a story and stories can be very very powerful the thing you have to remember about the story is you don't want it to be overly long you want to give enough details so it feels very real so it draws people in but it's like telling a joke you need to give enough details so that the punchline makes sense and it's the same thing with your stories you definitely want to use stories they're very very powerful but they have to they have to land they have to make the point and they have to do it without wandering around too much so here you'll see she tells a story of being out with her dog you know last fall I was out uh, taking a walk with a friend of mine 
we both had our dogs with us and we were walking out in a farmer's field. Off in the distance, my friend spots this animal, a small animal. She's wondering what it was. And uh, it was so far away that neither of us could really make out what it was. So she decides she wants to get closer to investigate. She asked me to take a hold of her dog. She puts her dog on leash and, and she makes her way across the field. Meanwhile, my dog Feature is still off leash and she decides to follow her. So Feature's trampsing across the field behind her. Now, this animal was probably 300 meters, maybe, you know, three agility fields away. At this point, my friend shouts back, it's just a stray cat. Her voice gets the attention of both Feature and the cat. So Feature looks back at my friend, the cat takes off in the direction of Feature. Basically, this cat runs full tilt right under Feature's nose and into a group of trees. Feature's response, she stood, watched the cat go by, turned around and trotted back to me without even giving that cat a second thought. Now this is an example of a dog whose responses have been inspired so that in the heat of the moment, no decision has to be made. If I'm three feet away or 300 meters away, the right choice is made by my dog. Let's face it, she is a Border Collie. And what has that breed been bred to do for hundreds of years? Chase animals, chase sheep and herd them up. Features no different. She excels at agility and I don't think that's a coincidence. Because so here she told the story. You can see she got animated when she told the story. She's telling a story about dogs. The people watching this like dogs. They've probably been through similar situations. So it was a great story. And then she landed the plane. In other words, she made the point. She didn't like tell the story and then let the viewer sort of draw the conclusion. She actually made the point. So from here on Susan does a lot more teaching then I want to take you up to about the 11 minute mark because this is where Susan does this great thing and she she really builds a lot of likability and she does that by you know an old copywriting term is called the damaging admission so that's where you show that you are not perfect and um, and she also makes a great point here so I'm gonna skip ahead to this area right around here where she's making a point about whether you want to train the dog you can either ch choose to train the dog or manage their behavior and she makes the point that some of the times it's easier to manage behavior and some of the times she actually does that herself and she does it in a fun very likable way the visit many times these things are done this management is done unconsciously how many of you have grabbed your dog's collar when someone comes to the door, when you have to answer the front door? You're managing an unruly response from your dog rather than training something that's more important. And as judgmental as that may sound, I admit I am guilty of the same. My dogs go stark raving mad when someone knocks on the door. We manage it. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, I'm ready to stop managing and to start inspiring a different response. I like to say irritation is motivation. When something really irritates us enough, we're going to be motivated to make a change. So there, you know, Susan was showing that I am not perfect and I certainly at sometimes I choose to manage instead of train and she does it in a fun way by showing the chaos of her dogs. Um, chasing you know or, or running to the door when someone is at the door now here Susan takes um, a, I'm gonna skip forward to the 13 minute mark and this is where she uses a, a, she agitates about dealing with unwanted behavior so when I say agitate I mean in this video she's basically telling you you should learn how to train your dog so your dog does what you want so the dog comes back to you when when you want that it does the behaviors you want instead of always yelling and managing it's better to to train and it's one thing to say that but in this section she agitates about it meaning she really builds up the pain of just if you're going to continue to try to manage and she shows just how uh, dire the circumstances can become so I'm going to skip ahead to this point here around the 13 minute mark 
to not bother to train a better response when the doorbell rings. I mean, it takes a few seconds to grab a collar a few times a year, and that's really not too bad. But what about the bigger ongoing struggles you have with your dog? Imagine adding up all the hours you spend managing and repairing as a result of unwanted behavior from your dog. The time out of your day every day doing things like chasing a dog around the neighborhood because somebody left the gate open to the backyard or waiting at the vet's office once again because your dog ate something inappropriate or that extra bath you have to give him because uh, your dog found something juicy to roll in at the dog park or he won't come in from the yard when you're late for work and he's digging in the mud. How about the time to chase him down when he doesn't retrieve your favorite toy and let alone what about when he decides to chase a neighbor's cat or a squirrel across a road at an appropriate moment. Now we're talking about issues that could sadly end your dog's life. When you consider all so right there you saw that was she was really building up the pain of not training your dog and you saw how she built from less important consequences up until the possibility of your dog losing its life because of getting hit by the car by a car and I don't know about you but I'm a dog owner and just hearing her deliver that and she didn't do it in a you know she did it in a very graceful way but boy I could feel the emotions well up inside me as I thought about my dog you know possibly getting hit by a car so you can see the, even though Susan this is a great teaching video she is de it's also very very powerful what she is doing now we're just gonna I'm gonna let it roll here because at around this 14 minute mark she starts talking about investments and payoffs and why this really makes a good sense to make the investment in training your dog and how it will pay off for you all the unwanted behavior you deal with in, in your dog on an ongoing basis throughout the year then multiply that by the number of years when your dogs are at their naughty best I think you're gonna see that time heavily favors you dedicating yourself to learning how to train inspired change from the dog rather than trying to manage all those unwanted responses that he continues to come up with in addition to all this Deciding to take the education fork in the road gives another massive benefit, and that is that of a dramatic change in the relationship between you and your dog, making it a win-win-win situation. You get a better behaved dog, your dog learns how to get what he wants, when he wants, and you both get a better relationship with more understanding at either side. Clarity creates that confidence. Imagine a dog that retrieves anything you throw now she's really starting to move into making a really big promise about you know what you can achieve with your dog through training Throw directly to your hand that never pulls on a leash that comes every time you call even the face in, in the face of really really outrageously high value distractions imagine how much easier it would be to live with this dog and to carry on more advanced training maybe just trick training or Performance sports like agility, obedience, freestyle, disc dog, shutsun, you name it. Once you've laid down that all-important foundation that teaches the dog how to get what he wants by just doing what you want, every layer after that critical foundation becomes easier and easier to train for both of you. You're going to get to the point where teaching anything new takes no time at all because your dog has already learned that reinforcement comes through you and is keen and willing to participate in anything you, you any new project that you come up with think about this if you turn it and then here I'm going to jump forward to 1650 where she talks about this investment and, and, the, and the winning investment but this whole section in here is it, you should definitely watch I'm going to give you the whole video so you can watch it because she's really building up this big promise that the course is going to deliver on and why it's worth it to make this investment because the thing to remember is she's not at this point selling the investment in the course the monetary investment but she is selling the time investment that the dog owner is going to have to make so once she has them bought into making that time investment then she can move on to the monetary investment and frankly I think for 
most dog trainers, it's probably going to be the smaller investment of the two. But don't beat yourself up for that one. Just know that investing the time it takes to fix what you have is always going to be time well spent, especially if your training comes in the form of something you and your dog both look forward to. I have you all excited about giving up managing behavior. So here she's going to start to foreshadow the next video. So you'll see she actually just started to make that transition. I'll just skip back a tiny bit. Your dog both look forward to. I have you all excited about giving up managing behavior and looking instead to inspire behavior. So now what? At the end of this week, I'm going to roll out the second part in this training series where I'm going to give you the framework of how to approach this win-win-win type of training with your dog. I'd like to share my vision with you. All of us here at Say Us Dog Training. So now she's going to revisit her big why and really do some, some real community building within this. And by, by, by community building, I mean she, she's talking to her viewer and she's talking about the people on her list, the people participating in this launch, as if they are a community. And this is really powerful how she did this. I'm going to just step back just a few seconds. Training with your dog. I'd like to share my vision with you. All of us here at Say Us Dog Training have a common goal, and that is to enhance the lives of dogs and dog owners worldwide to improve the dog-human bond by sharing our knowledge of the effective use of games and reinforcement in dog training. If you too share this vision and believe that training should be an interactive exchange of joy that brings unprecedented, unprecedented results, I'd love for you to spread the word about these free webinars to your dog-owning friends and to your training groups. Together, we can make a difference. And I know there are dogs out there who are eager to leave their world of don't and to have a chance to be part of the training that goes on here in the land of do. Okay, so that was the big why where she's sharing her big why and really did some community building. Actually asked for people to forward the, the link for her video. So that can be really powerful. Here Now she's just going to close with a call for comments and wrap this first piece of pre-launch content. So thank you for your time. Please be sure to leave me a comment with your thoughts about today's webinar and we'll see you later this week. So that was Susan's video one pre-launch content number one. Again, this is a, a ton of teaching, but it really sets up the opportunity that you, yes, you can actually train your dog and have these great results and just keep on watching. I'm gonna show you how to do it. She built lots of authority through her teaching. Um, she made this big promise. She really drove in why you should care about this, why you should your dog should be trained, and uh, not only for uh, a better relationship with your dog and an easier time with your dog, but also for the dog's safety. And then she set the, you know, basically set the table for the next video and ask for comments. So very, very strong video and, and you know, no huge salesmanship, not a fancy pitch. It doesn't feel like there is any sale coming whatsoever, just a lot of education. And in fact, there is a ton of education throughout this entire series. So it's easy to see why she got such great results with this launch.